Hi, welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing the Allen Bradley 1794OE4. Now this is a four channel output which has four channels of either voltage or current. And each channel is actually completely separate. And in the test, I got five of these in the other day and I set up the test and four of them are really good. The fifth one, all the voltage channels are good, but there's two dead uh, current channels. So this will, we'll go through this video, we'll show you a good one, then we'll show you the bad one. And this will explain, you'll be able to see why you sh need to test all channels independently every time. You can't just assume that one is good, the other is good. So we'll get set up here. Our setup is a PLC5 540E flex I.O. connected to it as remote I.O. and then the channels hooked up to our analog uh, display test board. So we'll just uh, get swung around here and uh, be back in a sec. Okay we're back. So here's our setup. We've got our ASB connected to the remote I.O. link and this is just an empty slot for now. And down here in the bottom, move this down just a bit, there is our four channel OE4 and it's currently wired up according to this Allen Bradley specs to the current output. Four to 20, and I've got it set for 4 to 20 milliamps and you can also set it to do 0 to 20 milliamps depending upon your situation. Now each of those outputs is tied to way up there our analog test board and to DC milliamps. Now currently we're sitting about 12 milliamps. Flip the first switch and we're back down to four which is our zero setting. Next one, next one, and last one is just over 20. Go back down to zero, go back down to the bottom two channels, which is right there. And step through it again, we're at zero, step up, step up, step up. So as you can see, that works fine. So now what we'll do on our current test, because when you've got multiple modules, you want to test voltage first or current test, whichever one you want to do, and you rather than swapping wires around, you just swap modules. So what we'll do first is we'll go back here to our module, and as you can see, it's powered up. Turn, Alan Bradley recommends you turn off 24 volts, which is always a good idea with any, any module, but you don't always have to. And we'll take or module that I tested earlier that I know has a problem. And just take a little sticker off and power back up. And as you can see in the bottom, power is on. So now we'll go back over here. We haven't changed our switches. There's our bottom two meters. As you can see, and this is channel three, two, one, zero. Uh, channel three is sitting over 20 milliamps. Channel two is just pinned down hard at zero. So if I hit the zero switch, you can see the bottom meter moves. Next switch up, it steps up, steps up, steps up. The other one doesn't. Go up to the top ones. And if I had a wider lens, I could get these all in the same one. But So here we are on channels 0 and 1. So as you can see, 0 is sitting about 25 milliamps. 1 is sitting at about 22. It's just where the setting is there. But if we hit 0... 
milliamps, you can see channel 1 moves, but channel 0 doesn't. Step up, step up, step up. So that shows we have two bad current analog channels. So now to prove the uh, module, what we'll do is I'll stop the video for a sec. I'll change it over to voltage mode. And to do that, you have to change in the program what you want in the setup and also have to change the wiring. So back in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do here first, before we change the wiring or anything around, is we'll go into the uh, this PLC5, go into the setup screen of the block transfer right, or you could do the read, it doesn't matter. And as you can see here, just zoom in a little bit. Okay, there's our set, we're into the setup screen. On channel 0 through 3, everything currently is set for 4 to 20 milliamps. You can pick 2 volts or 4 milliamps, 0 to 10 volts DC, plus minus 10 volts, 4 to 20, or 0 to 20. In our case, we're going to choose zero, uh, plus minus 10 for all channels. And accept edits and download to the module. So now this module is set for voltage. Let me close our screen there. And we will go to, uh, I'll change the wiring around to come off of current mode, which is, okay, right there is, we are in current mode. It's simply a matter of swapping the wires to voltage mode. So. Um, pause the video and be right back. Okay, we're back. So here's our voltage, mod, our modules wired up for voltage, and we're tied to our Simpson 0 to minus 30 plus 30 volt DC meters. Standard old, good old analog meters. So this is channel 3, channel 2. We go 0 plus 3 volts, plus 7 volts, plus 10 volts, negative 10 volts, negative 7 volts, negative 3 volts, 0. As you can see, and this is the same module, we're on the current channel over here, off to this side here. This channel had a problem in current, but in voltage, it works fine. Move back up to these two guys up here. Sorry for the uh, all of the uh, glare, but don't have. I'm not a professional. So anyhow, here we are back on our channel zero and one, and we'll do the same test: zero, three, seven, ten, minus ten. Minus 7, minus 3, and 0. So that proves out why you need to test all channels independently on the 1794OE4. Thanks a lot. Come back anytime. I can try and get some more videos up here of various modules in the next while. Subscribe if you'd like, and have a good day. Bye.